So in this one, now we're going to learn that second part, that text block. So we try to learn that how text blocks control is work in WPF. So now move to Visual Studio. So I have already opened that. So I again went with here and shortcut I use shift control N and it's open. Now it's already added here as well in left side because since I use you guys also use so it will be here. Or if it's not, then you can go ahead and search it here. WPF. We get a WPF.net framework. So you can go ahead and click that enter now. So here that place where you want and that rename of this one. So now this one we're going to use as text block. Okay. So I give that name as text block and hit enter. So now it's going to create that default project for us. So once we'll create now, we try to understand what is text block. So text block is basically used to display some small few, a small line of text or maybe or text or any value, a small line of uh, any presentation value that text or either it will be word or not, uh, sorry, number or digit or any special character, anything but for the small lines of. Okay. So now, as we know in that last step, it's by default, it's created here. So now we can go ahead and we can see that we have that here text block, okay? And we can, you have, you will notice here first now grid is blank. If I go ahead and try to drag it here, now we can see that here it's by default generated on line of that code that told text block, horizontal left, okay? and margin and all the other things that we'll try to understand that later. So now if I go ahead and remove this, so this is that one way we can do that drag and drop and we can get it. Okay. So now once I remove that and if I go and run it, it will be plain that nothing will be there in this windows form. It's blank. Okay. So now so first thing, we'll go ahead and try to change that title and I will make that text block. Okay. Now, so here, as we saw that when we do that drag and drop, that's working and it's generating that uh, default JAML file for that. So now what I'm doing, I'm going to create that same thing with JAML and then we can see how it's going to display. So if I type it here, text, so we can get the text block and Jamal is case sensitive. So it's going to get that difference if we put that capital and a small letter, we got that text, okay, text block. So now we see that there are a lot of other suggestions started coming, okay. So if we go with that text, so text is that, suppose I put it here. This is text block okay so i put like this one that this text block and i will put like this so now similar to html a starting tag is that it was started and now once we close that it's going to close with the same thing similarly that grid and windows both are working in here so now this one if you see that if you feel some issues here to see right now we can do it this way this one also we can adjust it to fifty percent. Then we can see it here. You can use like this one, or if you wanted, you can use like this, and then we can go ahead and increase it to hundred percent. I click something again. So click anywhere. It's going to now do that changes. Okay. So I put like this one. So now we have this is text block, and if we go ahead and run that. It's going to display that this is a text block and whatever name we have given it here, that heading both started coming. Okay, so I give it here first one space. Now we'll try to understand what all other things are there in that. So first thing we know we'll try to understand that other property that property called gold. Okay, 
So you put that in bold, and then I will put that. If I put like this one bold is so now whatever here I will put. This is bold. Okay. And now we go ahead and try to run this. So we can see that here. This is a text block, and this is bold. So bold is this thing in bold. Okay. But we can see both are coming now. One to that other. There is no line break, or it's we can tell in that other way there is no space or nothing. So now we we wanted that to use that line break. So we have that one line break functional tag. What it will going to do? Will just create that one line break. Okay. Now I did that. Now I will go ahead and now. So once I click that save, we got that different one here. That format and all the other format is got changed one by one. So this one I will explain that next video. I am using that one of that uh, their tool. That is uh, doing that formatting of JAML code. Once we do that, click on Control S, save that. So now we'll go that and see that there. Now we can see that it's came to that next line. This is bold. So similarly, if we go ahead and try to do that italic. So if we put that there as well, italic. Okay. So if we go ahead. So we can put like this one, and if we go to run it, so we can see this one now is coming. This is italic. So what all we need based on that, we can do it here changes and all the other things. Now, what we can do, we can increase that here size as well. So now we can see that font size is very small. Now, if I go and put here font size, scale that font size. So now, I suppose if I give it twenty, and then if I go ahead and run that, so we can see all of that font size got increased now, and we can see it here as well. Okay, so now see if I go ahead and increase that to twenty-eight, we can see here also it's got increased. Okay, so it's here now. We started displaying that little, again in bigger one. So now if I go ahead and put it here, that line break. Okay, so line break. I put that. If I go ahead and run that, we can see that this one now displaying. And again, one more line. So I hope you understand that. What is that use of that text block? So. So now first we'll go and try to in the similar way try to complete all of that control whatever we have here we can complete all of them basic functionality for what it's used then we'll go ahead and try to customize those things we try to do many more things with this one so that's all for this video thank you.